Denise of Rundy MT, and this week I'm back in my kitchen. Tuesday night we had a Fitfluential uh, women's running series Twitter party, and the topic of fueling came up. What do you eat uh, while you're running, if you snack while you're running, um, what you read, eat post-race, and what you eat pre-race? Well, this Sunday I had the women's half marathon, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to share some of my favorite fueling tricks. Um, Pre-race, I have a banana. I, I like the, the, um, the portability of a banana. Um, you know, usually, because from where I live, from the races, they're usually a good 30 to 45 minutes away. So I can have this banana on the way to the race, it's digested, and I don't have to worry about it just sitting in my stomach. I used to eat half a, banana, half a bagel with peanut butter, or a whole bagel with peanut butter, depending on the distance, uh, for like a half or a marathon. But I always found that eating uh, a bagel with peanut butter, or a Cliff bar, or any of the protein bars, would always repeat up on me while I was running. I would just taste it up, you know, come up while I was running. So I stumbled upon a secret, these mini peanut butter crackers. I've eaten Ritz peanut butter crackers, um, pre-race, or I've carried them in a Ziploc bag in my fuel belt while running, and these work great. They don't repeat on me. This happens to be the Trader Joe brand, which I stumbled upon at Trader Joe's uh, during the Sarasota Half Marathon, and these run about $2.50, $9, a box, close to $3, um, and these were fantastic. I have been known to bring a box of this, of these peanut butter, mini peanut butter crackers with me to a race. When, during Disney, I brought them with me to the corral, and I was eating them in the corral before the race. Yeah, that's how much I love these things. And they don't repeat on me. They are fantastic. Even the Ritz peanut butter brand. I love them. Um, Pre-race, uh, yeah, peanut butter, crackers, and a banana. Um, Post-race, I like coconut water. Um, even during my training runs, I drink coconut water after my run. And I just love... The, instead of doing Gatorade or uh, some of the other energy drinks, this these coconut water is just a great way to replenish your body with the natural nutrients. Um, post race, I also like chocolate milk. Um, I'm an Ovaltine fan. A couple tablespoons of this in an eight ounce glass, and um, and it's chock full of vitamins and whatnot. Uh, during the race, I wear either a fuel belt, or this, this is my new favorite running skirt, this pirate one from uh, runningskirts.com, or no, whatever. Um, anyway, <laughs> they, uh, they, they, the clip shots fit really nicely in the pockets. I love the clip shots with the caffeine. Sometimes before a race, I'll take a, um, a shot of this, um, and I'll carry a couple. A lot of races offer them during the race, so you don't have to worry about carrying them. I just carried one just in case. I also, during um, the longer races, I carry a pack of gummy bears. These happen to be the yummy gummy bears, yummy organics, yum earth organics, excuse me. And they come in the little, little mini pack, pack, so you can just slip them right in your pocket and have them. And so these are great fuel foods, snacks, um, during to, to snack on while you're running. And that's pretty much it. That's, those are all my snacks and all my fuel uh, secrets. And I hope I helped you. So we'll see you next week. Let me know what some of your favorite uh, fuel snacks are. Okay? And we'll see you soon.